Hi everyone, it's uh, James here again. Um, apologies for the the lack of communication um, from my side on the the Bexartine trial. Um, I just had to give you an update on where I am now. Um, so basically, at the moment, I'm about just just over two months into the trial, maybe two months and a week, maybe. Um, taking tablets every day as prescribed eight tablets per day and yeah no it's no problem taking tablets what i do they're 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 painful to take they're huge you've seen them in the last video they're massive so like yeah they're they kind of get like stuck in your chest and you're trying to take them but um yeah you just get them done um, and i've missed i think two days out of the, the whole two and a half months so far so like i think that's pretty good considering the lifestyle I'm living, so that's not bad. Um, so yeah, I guess just to give you a, a, a taste of where I am at the moment, it feels like my condition hasn't improved. It actually feels like it's gotten worse. Um, I noticed things that like over the last maybe six months anyways, regardless of the trial, um, my... Uh, my condition was getting worse, so the things I noticed getting worse are a really obvious one is my signature with my, my right hand, I'm right handed, so I find it hard to hold the pin. Sometimes I drop the pin and I'd actually have to use my, my left hand to put it into my hand to hold it correctly. Um, so my signature started to get really bad um, and so much so that if you saw my signature, probably if you saw my signature today, towards what it was maybe three years ago, four years ago um, no comparison you think I was a four like say a person with four signatures whatever they're called um, it just looks completely not like it um, so yeah that's like a mild complaint that I have some of the the more some of the more the worst complaints I have are um, my I guess my hand is getting weak my right hand especially but my legs get really weak Um I'm going to do a walking test and I'll, I'll copy it to the end of this, this video. I'll just show you how my, my walking has deteriorated. Um, so, yeah, my walking has gotten worse. Um, to be honest, I feel like maybe I could have done more to help myself um, when it comes to exercise and to push myself a bit more. But I guess just because I'm in this situation with MS and things are hard, you, you try not to do things that are hard because for that exact reason. So it actually has a double effect of making you worse. You get worse and then you do even less and then you get worse and you do less and then it just gets worse and worse. Um, so yeah, no, today I went with my father down to um, to a bog in Ireland to, to foot turf and that takes a lot, a lot of uh, strength from your legs and I hadn't been the bog in a long time and I guess just maybe I did not last that long to be honest. My legs started to like quiver and shake underneath me and I could see that like I was under pressure, you know, from the get go. I really was. And it was a struggle, like I, we didn't even finish what we'd intended to finish. So um yeah, that was a bit disheartening all right. Um Yeah, I, I noticed as well that Apart from like the weak legs and my arm is getting weak, um, I notice as well that my speech is getting like bad. When I um, you might say my speech is bad anyway because of my accent. I was I was born that way, alright. Can't change the accent, but like when I'm using like when I'm trying to describe something fast, or if I'm using like larger words, like sometimes I stumble over the words and I. I literally like I choke on the words trying to get them out. Like, um, choke might be a bit hard to use, but like, I, I really I have trouble with it at times, um, and it gets quite obvious there's something wrong, and I end up just completely simplifying the sentence to make it easier for the other person to understand because of the way I'm speaking. Um, so yeah, so I guess the Big Seventeen trial. I don't know how well it's going for me. Um, I guess the truth will be in the the MRI scans. Um, we're going to do at the end. We took a detailed MRI scan at the start, and we're going to 
do another um the MRI scan I took at the start actually it, it's an MRI scan that's able to tell what myelin has gone off the, the nerves so it's really really strong um so like that MRI is more detailed than a normal MRI you'd have for like so I mean if you had a, a problem with your back or your spine or whatever it may not be as detailed as this so no the guys in Cambridge took a really uh, really detailed MRI and um I'm going to get another one at the very end. So the very last one is on the the fourth of December, I think. So it's about I've about three and a half months left in the trial, um, and yeah. So like once the MRI comes back, we'll see if it made any difference. My own personal opinion is that it has made absolutely fucking no difference. But I could be on the I I could be on the placebo. I think I am definitely on the placebo because I've had no side effects whatsoever. So um, like I I know I've from speaking with people, some of the people that may be watching this video actually um that you guys have had like like side effects like where um your blood pressure goes up and you had to reduce the medication and you've had a lot of flushing and that um and I haven't had any of that ever I, it feels like I'm taking Smarties to be honest so there's a good chance I I am on the placebo so. I think it is as important for me to take this um, and take it as best as I can, follow the instruction as the neurologist has given me, um, as it is as important for someone who is on the actual drug. So of course I will follow this through. And if anything, I've just got a detailed log of six months of my life on MS. So surely that will work something to me when I'm, I'm older. Um, yeah, I don't think of anything else. Um, somebody asked me there that uh, what age was I? Um, I'm 30 years of age. Um, I was diagnosed uh, October 2014, something like that. And uh, yeah, I just kind of have to slow the decline where things are getting worse all the time. Um, so I don't think, I actually think my um, MS is progressing to uh, secondary progressive and it's no longer really relapsing remitting because I'm constantly getting, I'm slipping all the time, it feels. And interestingly enough, like when I look at my MRI scans, my MRI scans don't show like the lesions in my in my brain getting worse. They show lesions on my, on my spinal cord, um, I think they're called plaques. They show that they are getting worse. Um, and that could be what's making it hard to walk. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's where I am at the moment. I'll do a, a little bit of a walking test for you guys. I took a I took a video um, as well of, you'll see it at the end of this video, of me walking through the airport. Um, and that was about a week ago. I do a lot, I'm in, I'm in lots of airports because of my job. So I was getting a flight and I just said, my legs were feeling a bit weak and I just thought it might be a good, um, a good time to take a video to show you guys what it's like for me to walk and what it looks like. It just, it looks a little bit clumsy and I'm able to, I am able to walk like, you know, it just, it just feels a bit clumsier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a, an example of how I am at the moment. My legs feel very weak because it was at the bog with my father, as I said, it run. Um, so now is a good time to show you exactly how I feel. But um, yeah, okay. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Don't subscribe if you don't want to. Don't like it. Don't comment. Just enjoy your day. Take care. Bye-bye.